Okay, here's the second part. Thank you, Apple. I thought uh, putting it in airplane mode wouldn't set off alarms, uh, but I guess it does. All right, so here we go. Continuation. Here's the exploded view, the schematic, if you will, showing all the different uh, parts and how to take it apart and put it back together and what part is what. And again, I've heard nothing but great things about the customer service and being able to get parts and uh, they'll help you out. You can send the knife back anytime for a spa treatment and they'll clean it. They'll touch it up. Uh, some things they charge for, some things are totally free. So that's what you like to see in this day and age. Here is a little, you know, love story about the factory, the company itself. And then we have a warranty card, which we'll take care of that later. You get the Ubiquitous window decal, which you can't really tell from there, but it's like this, the Charles Reeve, Chris Reeve logo, you know, that sticks on the outside of a window or else on your coffee mug or computer or whatever you want. And there's a little timeline of the company, and that's it there. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now, to the good stuff. We have, this is the lube... Let's see what it says here. It says the fluorinated grease. And then they give you some nice Loctite, which I'm hoping is blue and not red. And then you get a little Allen wrench in there. Because that is how they, that is what they use for the bolts on this. Uh, the screws, whatever you want to call them. The is an Allen wrench. I don't know what size that is. Uh, some people say you need two because the, the, um, Screws are not countersunk, uh, not countersunk. They're, uh, in fact, they are not countersunk, you'll see in a second. But they, they don't have like a keyway in them to stop them from spinning. Okay, here's the very nice, very nice quality cleaning cloth, microfiber, rolled up. And then we undo it, and we undo it. And there she is, boys and girls. Let's show the show side. So this is the natural micarta, which I like. Um, I thought it was going to be lighter than this, but it's a little darker. And I'm sure as I use it, the oils in my hands and the day-to-day -day use will make it even a little darker, which I am okay with. And there's the blade centering. Kind of looks spot on. There's your uh, release, your uh, lock bar chamfer i don't know if i'm using the right terms uh, i'm sorry but that's kind of nice the one thing i noticed i haven't seen this on any others is there's the slightest these two little lines right there see those two vertical lines those coincide no they don't coincide but they're there i don't know why they're there if you do let me know your expertise Okay, there's the pocket clip. The pocket clip, I thought, was going to be considerably stiffer. It feels um, a lighter weight gauge, if you ask me. I am not a big fan of pocket clips. Um, I'm probably going to hear about that in the comments as well. But I usually pocket carry everything, and I only clip it on my pocket when I really have to um, use the knife a lot. I know while I'm working on a project, I'm going to be taking my knife in and out of my pocket a lot. I'll clip it on. But when I'm just walking around or traveling or this or that, I put it in my pocket because I've heard so many stories of this clip getting caught on your seatbelt. Uh, you're walking along and you brush against something and it catches the clip and it's gone and you don't even know it. And a knife that's, you know, starts at 400 and goes up to lots more money um, that's something to chance. I don't want to take, I don't want to take a chance on my $40 knife. If you lose your knife, you lose your knife and that kind of sucks. Okay. So the flipping, you don't flip, you roll this and it's all about the placement. The, the spider coast and stuff, you come straight off the side here. But with these, what I've learned, and I think I'm saying this right, is you come down here at around five o'clock, six o'clock. And that, let me see if I can do it now, that makes it easier to roll the blade. I'm still getting used to it. Uh, but 
it's solid. It's not, it's not glass-like yet. It still has to break in. This is, again, a week old, and I have not been using it a lot. But you, uh, let me go a little bit here. Come in down here, kind of right where the frame starts to make this point, I feel. And see, I don't want to have to wiggle up with my hand. I have to find the right placement of my hand and then do it. Um, the pyramid-shaped thumb stud, I'm not necessarily a fan so far. Maybe I just have to get used to it, uh, but we'll go from there. Okay, so that shows you this is what uh, a polished blade looks like. Let me use my beautiful cloth here and clean the fingerprints off a little bit. And this is Magna Cut. So it does have a reflective quality to it. It says polished, but the edge is definitely polished. The blade is not, uh, I think the stone wash is the other version, but you can see the grind lines. There you go. You can see a little reflection of things. Uh, there's my hand. Okay, so there's that. The jimping is great. I love the jimping. It, it feels perfect. The shape of the blade is very, very good. I've only opened a couple of boxes, uh, nothing crazy. The lanyard, okay. I am a little bit of a lanyard fan. Oh, and there's my lockup, by the way. Right there. All right, so it, it feels great, it sounds great. Lanyard, um, I use them sometimes on some knives, on others I don't. Uh, this is what came with it. One thing I don't think anybody's, I've never seen this. When you look at the lanyard, it's not just a hunk of metal that the this goes around. There's a hole in it. I don't know if you can see it there, but there's a hole that the that the paracord goes through. And yes, it rotates and all that, which is great. But I'm pretty sure they do that so that when the blade comes down, it is a little more protected. I'm sure this will hit at some point. And whether or not I'm going to keep this thing you know, on, I don't know. But it came that way, so I will give it a try. I've heard very good things about the micarta not ha micarta not having a problem coming off. Uh, I'm sure if it does that um, Chris Reeve will stand behind it. And this is what I was talking about earlier. These screws stand a little proud. Over here where the micarta is, it's flush. It's, it's, it's countersunk in there. But every place else, you definitely feel the bumps of the screws. Screw heads. Pro, con, I don't know. Depends on what you like. So, oops. So there's that. Okay, so now, this is the packaging. I thought, <clears throat> I was hoping that this came with the leather slip, but it turns out it is just the wood version inlays that come with a leather slip. All right, now, well, let me put down a little ruler here. And you can get an idea, even though I'm sure you already know that the blade is, let me see, I'm gonna read some specs here. The blade's 2.99 inches. Oop, let me try to do this, get it in frame. Okay, the blade's 2.99 inches. The blade thickness is 0.12. And it has that rounded spine, which is very nice, very classy. Okay, the, um, this is Magna Cut. I believe it's 62 to 63, the plain edge. The handle length is 3.98 inches, and the weight is 3 ounces. So there's some stuff for the tech people. Um, let me give you a couple of comparisons here. I, I brought out a couple of my other knives, and we'll just put them all together and see what happens. Let me move that little foot out of the way there. Well, whatever. Okay. Forgive my totally amateurish abilities here. Okay, the first thing I'm going to compare it to is a PM2. This is a uh, Blurple S110V. See, I even put a lanyard on this. Again, I was just messing around with uh, trying a different paracord knot. And this will show you pretty much just a little bit longer handle-wise. And the blades are just about there. The blade might be a tiny bit shorter. Um, so there's that. Then we have the Oz Roosevelt. This is Magna Cut as well. 
put that right with the pivot. And again, you can see totally different blade shape, but this is an awesome knife. I highly recommend if you can get one in the secondary or if you can hit a lotto or first come Oz knives are uh, really, really fantastic. One of my very, very favorite for comfort and slicing and all that. But anyway, okay, you see the blade, get about the same length, handle a tiny bit longer. Here is a quiet carry drift. Ooh, can I fit this in? Hold on, kids. Let's move this back a little bit more. And we'll put that pivot in there. You can see I have a type. These, th this size, these shapes, these grips and so on, if you will, they work well for me. These, except for the Chris Reeve, you have a forward choil on all these. You have, these are all, uh, these are all, uh, this is a frame lock, frame lock, frame lock. This is the compression lock, which is excellent as well, in my uneducated opinion. Okay, so there's the, can't get this straight. Okay. Okay. There's the Quiet Carry, another really fantastic knife and a good value, uh, if you ask me. This has a Vanex blade, titanium, totally, totally water, made to be around the water, hence the word drift. It's, it's, it's just fantastic. Uh, we, we spent a lot of time on a lake, and it's really, really nice. If you can't tell from the name of my channel, we're on an island. Okay, so we're by the water all the time. And then this is my little... Benchmade 940, uh, I figure which one this is. This is, let me push this up a little bit. This is the smaller version of the 940. Maybe this is the 941. Um, I love this. I have the 940 as well, but this one is great when I just want to carry something small and easy. Uh, I think it's very non-threatening. It's all blacked out. This has the S30V blade on it and the, the action like out of the box, was just like this. Very sharp, right out of the box. And I've used this for a lot of tasks. And I, I beat more on the 940, uh, which has held up well. And I've seen some videos of the the uh, Sabenza being used with, with no care, <laughs> no regard for care. And again, the thing is a tank. Um... Okay, I'm not a hard user of knives. I'm, I'm pretty easy going. All right, let's talk about... So there's, there's a handful of my knives that uh, relate to this, and then I do rotate. I, I use every single knife I have. There's maybe one knife that I am extra special careful with, but it's, it's quite special. Okay, I'm rambling as always. Sorry. All right, so let me... Let's just do this. Let's try a cutting test. This came so sharp. Uh, all these did. I, I can't complain. They all come sharp. But this Magna Cut is beautiful. Velvet butter. Just, just beautiful. So very, very nice there. That, that polished blade, man, every time I pick it up, it picks, look at that, fingernail already, uh, fingerprints already. It is, <laughs> it is just uh, really, really susceptible to fingerprints so if you're ocd or if you just like your blade uh, not to have fingerprints this is going to keep you polishing uh, a lot uh here's my now i haven't stropped this or done anything since i got it again beautiful here's the drifty nice where's my little bench made just sweet and the S110, beautiful, all of them. Okay, and again, I don't, I do not, I'm not going to say, I, you know, again, oh, these things have been through hell and back. No, they go in my pocket, I take them out, I use them whenever I need to, and they work great. All right, so thanks for being part of this little experience with me. I, I If you have a Chris Reeve, I'd love to know what you think of yours. Um, is it holding up the way you want? Uh, do Is it a safe queen? Do you use it? I'm trying to think if there's much I missed on talking about this because it's supposed to be the star of the show. But yeah, in the hand, for my size hands, again, either a large, medium, or a small large is what I always say, depending on the glove. Uh, but you can kind of choke up a tiny bit here. This, oh yeah, they talk about shopping trails. So many people talk about 
toils and I don't want to smile and this and that. I, I, I get it. I understand. But the, um, and this has this nice area here that goes up. So it gives you plenty of room to sharpen. Um, same thing here. It goes way up. So you got plenty of room to sharpen. Again, I'm trying to think of one. Again, plenty of room. Oh, it's the spider coats. Spider coats go to the very edge. See that? Right to the nubby. So, a lot of people say, oh, I'm going to end up with a smile or whatever it is or a recurve. And I understand. I get it. I get it. But if you want it, you take the Dremel and you put in the thing and you void your warranty or whatever and all that stuff. So, whatever you like. Look at that blurple. Isn't that the sweetest, huh? I really like that. I really, really do. All right. So, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for visiting. Feel free to like. Feel free to share. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're not in it for the money. Although, who knows? Maybe someday I'll, I'll get this uh, some viral video and I'll, I'll start being like uh, Nick Shabazz or, you know, Neves Knives or one of those guys that uh, makes all kinds of dough just talking about stuff they love. But they do put out good content. My content. Ugh, forget it. I, I, I know. You, you had to sit through this whole thing. All right, everybody. Have a great week. Spring's here. Summer's right around the corner. Get out there. Enjoy life. Do some stuff. Have a lot of fun. All right. Peace out.